Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna have some fun because we are going to look at the basics of color grading within DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you're just starting to color grade and you are feeling overwhelmed with the amount of information that's hitting you when it comes to nodes and effects and all the adjustments possible, LUTs, color space transforms, what is all of that? What's a working color space and input color space? You don't need to worry about all of that when you're first starting. All you need to worry about is one simple adjustment called offset which will get your color grades 95 percent of the way there so today we're going to look at how this is possible but the principle behind this is to simply let davinci resolve which is an incredible full featured color grading program do the heavy lifting for us a simple linear adjustment called offset to adjust the exposure or luminance of the image as well as the white balance or the color shift some people call these printer light adjustments. You can do an amazing amount. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and check it out. I'm working with eight clips today and they have been downloaded from ArtGrid. And you can see the Wind Collective have shot this beautiful set of images of Outpacker Shepherds. What you're seeing here on the screen is simply what I presume is a Rec 709 conversion, maybe with some kind of LUT applied. But when the raw footage is downloaded and brought into DaVinci Resolve, you can see it here displayed as log or what we call film gen 5 from the Blackmagic cameras. So the main thing you need to know to make sure that DaVinci can do the heavy lifting for us is what was the color space that the camera shot in. So whatever footage you're working with, it's a really good idea to pay attention to what color space you shot it in because we need to tell DaVinci Resolve what color space it was shot in in order for it to do the heavy lifting for us. So what we can do is bring up the color management settings within DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to change the color science over to color managed, uncheck automatic color manage and head down to custom. For my input color space, in this case, I'm going to choose Blackmagic Film Gen 5. The timeline working color space is going to be DaVinci Wide Gamut. And then my timeline working luminance, I'm actually going to hit custom and just boost it to 10,000 nits. And my output color space is going to be Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. If you're confused with these settings, I have a video here which explains the difference between input, working and output color spaces. But essentially when you go and hit save, you can see here if we right click and update all the thumbnails that all of these shots are now converted into Rec 709, which is a nice viewable color space for me to view these shots. I can go ahead and click the split screen and choose selected clips here to view all of my shots side by side. So now as a colorist and as we start color grading, we obviously need to balance these shots out to make them look like they're all part of the same world. I want all of the shots to look like they're part of the same sequence as if they were shot consecutively. So obviously we've got to fix the color shift up here, which was purple. And then we want to match it to this hero shot down in the bottom right, which is nice and rich and vibrant and warm. So as mentioned, we are going to focus on one single adjustment today, which is simply offset. Offset is the fourth wheel down on my primary color wheels. Whether you choose log wheels, primary bars, or your color wheels, offset will always be the adjustment on the right. Now there are two controls. The slider down the bottom will adjust the luminance or the exposure, and then the color ball here will adjust the color shift. Now in my node tree, I'm going to label this offset exposure, and I'm also gonna create a second node, which will be offset white balance. It's two nodes, but it's the same tool that will achieve the white balance and the exposure. Once you have your node tree set up, which is simple two nodes, I'm going to select all the clips, right click and apply grade. And that is going to apply that node tree across the board so that I have two nodes on every single clip. This is my hero clip. So I want to establish this clip first. So I'm just going to lift the exposure slightly here. And now I have my hero image that I'm going to shot match everything else to. What we can do is continue to use the selected clips split screen and I'm going to choose the clip that I want to adjust and command click my hero image. So now you can see that I have the clip that I'm going to adjust and then my hero image on the right. So first things first, let's just focus on exposure and get the balance of these two images to be somewhat in the same world. When I want to move between clips, I'm going to hold shift and L and this will cycle through my clips. And I'm simply just adjusting the exposure of every single one of these clips to match my hero clip.
Great, now that I've adjusted my exposure, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the next node over here, which is white balance. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm going to select my clip that I want to adjust and select the hero image with my offset white balance node. And I'm going to focus here on the color wheels. So we're gonna move this away from purple and just tidy up the white balance. When you're first starting, don't stress too much about making it perfect. Do a rough adjustment and then move on because we can always come back and tweak it later. Next clip, we're gonna warm this up, take a bit of that purple hue out, and then move on quickly. Again, warm this one up. So now we have a rough white balance and a rough exposure that we've added to all of the clips to try and match to our hero image. And I'm actually going to go back to the start and tweak the exposure because what you'll often find is as you adjust the white balance, it affects your perception of the exposure. So I'm just gonna go ahead again, choose my offset exposure and use this controller down here to adjust the exposure of my overall scene. Okay, so there you have it. Really quickly, we've adjusted the exposure and the white balance of every single shot. And what we can do now is see these all side by side. This is before any of those adjustments and with exposure and white balance, you can see this is after. So before and after. Now it's obviously not perfect, but as you can see, this has done 95% of the heavy lifting. To recap, what we have done is we've taken Blackmagic Film Gen 5 footage and essentially converted it into Rec. 709, adjusted the exposure and white balance to shot match these clips together so they look like they're part of the same world. And we've done this all within a few minutes of work because we're allowing DaVinci Resolve to do all of the heavy lifting for us with the offset tool and also the color managed workspace. So I hope that's helped alleviate some confusion when it comes to color grading. What you essentially want to do is just adjust the exposure and adjust the white balance in a really clean linear way, which the offset tool does really well. And then once you've balanced your shots, you can actually start to do some creative grading on top. Once you have a base correction where all of your footage looks like it's part of the same world, it's really simple to head over, for example, to the timeline page and apply something like a LUT or a set of creative adjustments to move your image into the creative space that you want. For example, Cullen Kelly has a film emulation LUT called the 2383. I've just dragged it here into the timeline and you can see what it's done here. This is before and this is after. So it's one LUT that is affecting every single clip within my timeline. Because I've got a good base correction, all of these clips look like they're part of the same world once I apply the creative LUT. This is before any of my color correction whatsoever. And this is after the exposure and white balance adjustment along with the creative look. So before and after, before and after. There you go friends, I hope that has helped you if you are new to color grading. Remember, if you're just starting out, don't stress about all of the complicated tools and the convoluted node trees that you see out there on the internet. Simply just worry about working in a DaVinci color managed workspace. And then from there, just spend time worrying about offset white balance and offset exposure. The offset is a powerful tool to balance all of your shots out 
And once you have that sorted, you can then obviously go and get complicated on top of that. But this will be a great foundational start for you to get used to interacting with footage within the color page of DaVinci Resolve. If this video has been helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you haven't already, check out this video, which goes into more detail about input, working and output color spaces within DaVinci Resolve. And that explains a little bit more about this whole color managed workflow, which we touched on in this video. For now, peace out guys.